Zenu PF chef China Masa comes face to face with country's poor road network, narrates how he was forced to abandon car, finish journey on foot. Zenu PF Secretary for Finance Patrick Chanemasa was recently brought face to face with ordinary Zimbabweans realities when he was forced to abandon his vehicle to finish a trip on foot after encountering impassable roads in rural Nienga, Manikaland province. The former finance minister was visiting family to pay his condolences following the death of his niece. As part of traditional rites, his niece, Porina Seguru succumbed to asthma months ago, sharing the ordeal on Twitter. Chinemasa, who was accompanied by his wife on the trip in their high-end 4x4 vehicle, said they were forced to use a swinging wooden bridge overlooking a valley so as to access the home which from that point is 5 kilometers away. His wife was to later beg for an alternative route as she could not bear using the makeshift bridge a second time, the alternative they later agreed on. Added 2 kilometers to their track back. On their way, Chanemasa revealed that they had seen a washed away bridge which fell victim to heavy rains seasons ago, his narration, which exposes a general lack of development in rural areas seemingly exposed the ruling Zenu PF party and ends with Chanemasa declaring that he will say things as he sees and hears them. The first hurdle was to cross Marozi River, a tributary of Kerizi slash Kerizi River. We needed to brace ourselves, especially in the case of my wife who cannot manage heights, to walk on the dancing slash swinging footbridge, Nugget Header, derived from the swinging motion. Said Chinemasa, who was in government for two decades, thankfully we made the crossing but while we did we could not help but marvel at school children who crossed the footbridge running without much bother. My wife begged for an alternative route back to our car. She did not think she could manage crossing Marozi through the Muget Header.